Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Thank you for coming to check in with us at Live Music's Live Wire. Tonight, we got a cool treat for you guys. We have the Bedlamville Triflers with us tonight. We're going to have a chance to meet with them, talk with them a little bit, and you're going to have a chance to hear them play. I'll tell you what, this is going to be a treat. So, without further ado, let's introduce the triflers we have here. And you are? I'm Sean. I'm Dean. Greg. And Benjo. Benjo. Okay, that's interesting. (laughs) B-E-N-J-O. Anyway, these guys have been playing around Baton Rouge for quite some time now. Uh, many of the places you can catch them. I know you can catch them at Curbside. Curbside. Curbside yeah, Burgers. Yeah, where home. else y'all play here locally? Um, you know, we do occasional Brady's um, show. Okay. Um, Red Dragon and Red the Dragon. Festival Circuit. Ah, yeah. The Festival Circuit is always important, especially you guys kind of do a rockabilly kind of music, right? right. Yeah. yeah, you can tell that shirt there. Is that fine or what, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sparkly. Yes, indeed. <laughs> indeed. You know, if you're but, nice, we'll, we'll play you a sample. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just might do that. But anyhow... Uh, how long you guys been together? Um, 2008. 2008. 2008, yeah. Okay, um, now you two guys are the original members that are still with the band. Correct, correct. Okay. Um, Greg uh, just kind of blind reached out to, he was wanting to start a rockabilly band. I think he just came from mm-hmm. Florida, looking for got some guys to play, and he found me on like the uh, one of the Gretsch sites, you know, mm-hmm. my with my orange mm-hmm. Gretsch, and just sent out and said, hey, would you be interested? And I'm like, yeah. I noticed even your cable matches your guitar. Hey, man. Yeah, that was uh, quite the match today. Okay. Okay, so the the two new guys right over here, how'd you happen to come in and join the band? Well, I used to have a band with their last bass player Mm -hmm. years before. I Mm -hmm. was a singer, guitar player in that band 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was uh, moving, and Mm -hmm. he said uh, he knew that I had gotten an upright bass and I was learning Mm -hmm. how to play it. And uh, he said, "You really should uh, take my place." And uh, the rest is the history. rest is history. Stars yeah, yeah, okay. That was about three years ago. All right, cool. And Benjo, how'd you happen to come into the band? I was uh, trying to get back into music. Just uh, had a sax that was uh, gathering dust, and so uh, I hooked up with uh, Dave Henson and the Excellent. Adult Music Club. Shout out! <laughs> and uh, kind of started uh, just getting back into playing, uh, and. Uh, through that, uh, through the grapevine, uh, Sean got word that was there was a sax player he had to hear. Mm-hmm. Lo and behold, that was me. All right. Yeah. Yeah. We uh, we've been looking for mm-hmm. somebody to flesh out the sound, and uh, I went to one of the adult music clubs, and I'm like, this guy's good. Mm-hmm. And then we like what two months later, we were uh, opening for Dick Dale, mm-hmm. and um, Benjo was there, and we struck up a conversation, mm-hmm. and then like give me exchange numbers. Mm-hmm. And, the rest is history. All right, that's cool because that's that's kind of one of the stories how bands do come together. Oh, yeah. get a gig, yeah, yeah. going out to see them someplace, and you meet and discuss it, and it's great. Yeah. Now you, being an original member, uh, wanted to start the band, so you're kind of the the genesis of this whole thing, right? Yeah, you know, when I, I lived in Jacksonville, Florida, mm-hmm. for about four years, and they had a really nice mm-hmm. rocking scene out there, great bands, and mm-hmm. uh, the Kings of Hell out of Jacksonville Beach, and Hot Rod Walt and the Psycho yeah. DeVilles. Mm-hmm. You know, watching their shows and what they put together down there made a big impact. And when I moved home, I was like, you know, we we got to do that here. There's a lot of uh, rockabilly history in Louisiana, especially Louisiana uh, Hayride up mm-hmm. in around Shreveport. And um, so I, I I had some trouble finding some guys using the typical forms, back page, or Craigslist, and mm-hmm. Baton Rouge musicians. And I finally decided, you know, I need to. I need to target my audience. I went to the Gretsch uh, guitar forums and searched for somebody in Louisiana. Saw Sean with a, a big orange uh, 6120. I'm like, that's my man. Uh, and uh, I have some other friends that play music. You know, we all have played music all our lives, basically. Mm-hmm. And uh, one of them said, you got to you got to reach out to Brian Akers. He plays upright bass. And so we it was the three of us got mm-hmm. things going, and it just like a domino mm-hmm. effect. Well, you're years. lucky he wasn't just posing with the guitar. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> that might have been one of those cool things. You know? yeah. He could actually play, too. What a bonus, I'm telling Some days, some days. He was yeah, posing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, said, I was like, i got to learn by the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> got to go play with these guys. Well, now, all you guys, of course, have regular day jobs, or the day gig, as we like to call it. The day gig. What do you do, Sean? Um, I'm a computer tech support. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you're one of the guys that give get headaches actually talking to the poor people that can't do anything well you know thankfully i'm kind of a little bit away from the from the general public okay. was, uh, do a lot of uh yeah, you know, turn it off turn it on again stuff, uh, you, know. Know. <laughs> you know yeah no <laughs> i did that for years no yeah. never again never yeah. again okay and how about you what you do i'm an app developer programmer okay i work from home 
All right, these are all computer guys so far. Yeah. How about you? Well, I, I recently sold uh, my family's small business, and I'm in the middle of working out a deal for a cigar bar. Uh, oh, cool. So yeah. hopefully I'll be the owner of a cigar bar in a month. With built-in gigs. That is a... <laughs> and he used to what be an egghead. He used to do tech. So oh, okay. oh, my goodness. How about you, Ben? Uh, I'm a geodetic surveyor at LSU. Ah, <laughs> geodetic surveyor. <laughs> Big words. Not just fancy. a regular thing, but fancy words here. You're measuring gravity, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I had mentioned that. Uh, we, uh, I'm doing a. I'm in the middle of a grant project that's uh, measuring gravity uh, throughout the state uh, to help uh, update the uh, geoid and thus elevation. Well, see, at every gig y'all go to, people are jumping and jumping and jumping. You can measure plenty of gravity there. there. But you of course, you're playing the saxophone. Duty. That's a. It's a little tough here. You have your. Foot yeah. pedals to control your machines. That should be great. That'll be a fantastic new, a whole new angle to playing music and working <laughs> at the same time. The day gig and the night gig combined. What a deal. Okay, so y'all have a gig coming up with Reverend Horton Heat coming up. Yes, at uh, Red Dragon, February 25th, we're playing with one of our heroes, uh, Reverend Horton Heat. And we've, over the years, came close to playing with them and had it fall oh. through and, you know, that kind of thing. And... Finally, you know, we just uh, get the stars lined, and uh, yeah. Chris Maxwell, like you know, Chris is a great guy. And said, "You guys want to play with Horton Heat?" Yeah. We're like, "Oh yeah!" <laughs> yeah the Red Dragon is a very the, cool venue. So it was a little poke. There, well, but we, we uh, kind of poked him a little bit. <laughs> we just, uh, that's okay. It's be that's us. okay. It's be us to do it. Well. We're the only guys that can do this. That's right. <laughs> well, and and he's an easy guy to play. Yeah, Red Dragon is, is one of yeah. one of the, the you know my favorite venues yeah. here. Great, it's really great. Okay, so where are some of the other places you guys play? Um, you know, we do the occasional Mid City Ballroom, Mid City Ballroom. Mid-City Ballroom. Mid-City Ballroom. Mid-City Ballroom. Um, yeah. That was a fantastic venue there. Played all yeah. over New Orleans. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Checkpoint yeah. Charlie. Checkpoint Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> well, now y'all have something coming up at a festival. We're playing uh, March 12th in Pascagoula, Mississippi at Celtic Irish Bar. It's going to be a big rockabilly bash, uh, car show, pinup contest, mm-hmm. just, you know. <laughs> The Evan. scene, the scene, the rockabilly <laughs> scene oh, there. Well, see, that show sounds like a whole lot play. of fun. So anybody gets a chance to see this, follow these guys. Because wherever they're going, it's going to be fun. So how can you possibly pass up a thing like that? All right, now, recorded music. You guys got some stuff out. We have two albums out. Um, one, uh, first one came out in 2010, I think. Um, it's called Going Out Tonight. Um, and we released one last year um, called um, 70 Miles to New Orleans which uh, we're going to do the title song for that tonight. Excellent. Um, off, Excellent. off the album. Um, All right. And, um, you know, you can find it on pretty much everywhere. Uh, you know, um, Spotify. Spotify, uh, Apple. Okay. Um, CD, CD Baby. Baby. Yeah, okay. yeah, your, your, your usual Amazon suspects. Uh, okay. The we're on, I think, Here Now okay. is, is another mm-hmm. place that you can kind of go, mm-hmm. but pretty much anywhere that you... Okay. Do you all have a Facebook page or anything like that? We have a Facebook page. We uh, We have a website, but it's down right now uh-huh. but you can uh reach us on our facebook page or instagram mm-hmm. pretty much any social media what are um, the uh, at, addresses at the triflers at the triflers that's the facebook yes, one. that's facebook. right mm-hmm. okay just search for us and somewhere in bedlamville you'll find yeah the if you type that okay. in we, we pop up yeah. you know that, that with that name there's not many Bedlamville right. how triflers cool is that? There, so. well you know what we're going to take a quick break and we're going to come back and you guys are really going to enjoy this the, the bedlamville okay. triflers will be playing for you <laughs> So get ready. We'll be right back.
change on the latest group of gals hit off the train. I hit the view parade for a bottle of wine and I'll be dancing on the levee in the summertime. Yeah. I head up to town to go to see my friend. Stop at Miss Mays for a shot of gin. Whole damn town at a 5 a.m. You know I'm feeling fine, and I'll be walking down the track. It's a chopper to its line. 70 miles from New Orleans. 70 miles from New Orleans. 70 miles from New Orleans. Empty faces and absent dreams. Well, the car starts to skin and hits trees up the road. Out on the flat top, a hot wind road. A pain in my chest, gas in my lungs, diesel and dust for all the trucks on the run. And a blinding flash is shown like the sun. Seven miles.
That was great. Thank you guys for tuning in. We certainly have enjoyed having these guys over, have them play for you. I know you enjoyed it. So please, if you would, don't forget to subscribe to our page. That's Baton Rouge's live music at YouTube. Comment in the area down below. It's right down there. Easy to comment. Tell us just how much you like these guys, because I know you did. So once again, a thanks to the Bentonville Triflers. These guys are great. Check them out wherever you can. Look for the name of the paper. Listen to it. Look them up on Facebook. It's going to be worth your while. And don't forget, Spotify, CD Baby, all the places, you're going to want to get their stuff. So thank you again. Don't forget we'll be back again, hopefully next week, with some more cool stuff. So y'all come see us again. Don't forget, subscribe at Baton Rouge's Live Music on YouTube. Thanks for seeing Live Wire. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.